Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah HaKotzar. Today we are in Mitzvah Loisa, say the negative commandment, pay number 80. Shalalim Mechaver, you're not allowed to take revenge against another Jew. Shenema, like it says in the Pasuk, Loisikaim, you're not allowed to take revenge. Nekimihi, what does it mean to take revenge against somebody? It means that you repay the person who harmed you in the same way, more or less, that he did wrong to you. For example, if a person asked his friend, Can you do me a favor? I need to go chop some wood. The winter is coming. I need wood for the fireplace. Can you loan me your axe? And the guy says, sorry, I don't loan my axe out to anybody. The next day, my friend who I asked to borrow the axe from him said, no, his axe broke yesterday while he was chopping wood. And I'm sure I'm happy about that as well because I show him, you see, you didn't share with me. So look what HaKadosh Baruch Hu does to you. I think that to myself. And now he comes and he says, Reb Yid, can you do me a favor? The winter is coming. I have to chop the wood to make sure I have enough wood in the fireplace. My axe broke yesterday. I don't have another one. Could I please borrow your axe for today to go and chop wood from the forest? Says the Chavetz Chaim, the Omalai. And now I respond to him the following. Ein ani mashilcha. I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you borrow my axe. Kederch shlohi shaltani in the way that you refuse to let me borrow your axe. When I wanted to borrow from you. Who are you kidding me? I came to you yesterday. I asked you for a favor. Could I borrow your axe to go chop the wood? The winter's coming. It's going to be cold. I need some firewood in my house. And you said no. And now you're coming to me today. You're asking me to borrow my axe? That I should, I should let you borrow it? He said, I have an axe to grind with you. And that is, just as you did not allow me to borrow your things, I'm not going to let you borrow my things. I'm not loaning it to you. says the Chavetz Chaim, this is revenge. When you are mean to another person, because he, the, he was mean to an extent to you, that's called taking revenge. Shinoi came mimenu, you take revenge from him, you're exacting vengeance from him, and you repay him according to what he did wrong to you. You're not allowed to do such a thing, says the Torah. That's not the Midas of Klal Yisrael. You're acting like a little baby on the schoolyard because somebody took the ball away from you, so you're not going to share with him. Somebody ended up taking your best snack out of your bag and now you're angry with him for the rest of the day and you hate him and you complain and you go home and you cry to your mommy and your, and your tati? Chas v'chalila. We're supposed to grow up at some point in our life. And we're supposed to be makabal kol adam upon him yafa is every single person we accept with a shining countenance. And there's no skin off my back if this person wants to not use his bechir in the right way and doesn't allow me to use, to borrow his, his axe. But I still have a mitzvah to be a mensch, and I have a mitzvah to have midas toivas, to have good midas, and I have a mitzvah to be kind and compassionate and forgiving to another Jew. And if this year, yesterday, wasn't so nice, and he decided not to loan me, it's, that's his decision. That's not my decision. But now that there's a year who's in need of something, and he comes to my house and he knocks on the door and he says, please, can you do me a favor? My axe broke. I need to borrow an axe there to chop the wood so I'll have firewood in the fireplace so I'll be warm in the wintertime. My wife can cook the meals, so on and so forth. I have a mitzvah to be a bal chesed, to do chesed, and to be kind and compassionate to another Jew. And therefore I say, sure, my friend, here's my axe. Use it as much as you need. A person who does the opposite and says, I'm sorry, you didn't let me borrow your axe. The way that you didn't take care of me, I'm not going to take care of you. That is nakama, that is revenge at its worst. It's the opposite of what a yid, a Jew is supposed to do, how they're supposed to handle their own property and their possessions. And therefore a person just transgressed 
the prohibition of Laisikaim of not taking revenge. Venoid Bechomokum Bechosman, this is something that exists everywhere all the time. Bezicham in the Kevais, men and women are both obligated to make sure that they do not take revenge against their fellow Jew. Have a wonderful day.